Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little video, it's a really quick video. I'm gonna show you how I conceal under my eyes. I am 31 years old. I am not one of these little young, beautiful skin, let me do these triangle highlights with a bunch of powder. I can't do it. I started off doing it when it became really popular and it worked amazingly, but now that I'm 31 years old, my skin is like, no girl that's not going to work for you so i'm going to show you how i do my concealer now the trick as you get older less is more obviously everyone's skin is different I'll tell you a little bit about how my under eyes are all right i just zoomed in a little closer and i just want you guys to see i have i have pretty decent skin okay i can't say i 100 percent am best at taking care of it but i do have these little tiny dots right here I've been doing my research to see if I could get them removed. People are saying, oh, it's milia, which it's not. It's not little like cystic pus balls, nothing like that. What it is, is because I'm getting older, the skin underneath gets really delicate. So with some people, that just it pops up and guess what? It's for life. You're welcome. Okay, so here's what I like to use. I know it's crazy, but for me, it works because I feel like a lot of things that I have used are not thick enough but then the ones that are too thick, they just like crease and they become this like gloopy, gloppy mess. Okay, so I use MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW25. You just use the tiniest bit and I like this brush, it's by Real Techniques. It's kind of a fluffy brush, but it's more dense if that makes sense. So I use this and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Just the tiniest bit. Now, because I have the dark circles, I have to do two steps. I have to conceal the circles, and then I like to go brighter under the eyes because I use a shade that's a little bit more of an orangey tone to color or to cover over the blue, the under eyes, right? So I seriously like just tap it, tap it, right? And then I just cover up just the dark. I don't bring it down into a triangle, no. Just very little bit right in the corners where you have the darkness. Okay, and then I just blend it and I'm doing very light passes over it. I don't know if you can see, it's already a lot brighter and then I have darkness right here as well. So I just lightly Buff that in. Now, a lot of people would recommend using a eye cream. I cannot use an eye cream. I can't, I've tried. If this doesn't work for you, use an eye cream. Um, I've heard a lot of people say, oh, it helps with dry, super dry. I wouldn't say I'm super dry. I do crease up really quickly. So when I have used eye primers, anything, I can't, it turns disgusting. So by all means, this is me. I'm showing you what works for me. And then I tend to have a little bit of darkness right here. And it's kind of like once you, uh, you're either a sagger or a sinker, you know, and I'm totally gonna be a sinker. Um, I know they have injections for that, but Girl, I ain't there yet, all right? Once you have color corrected, you can see it hasn't, it doesn't really, I don't know if you could tell. It's not the right color, okay? It's a little bit darker, orangier than my foundation, or maybe it's not, because my foundation is actually a little dark for me. But anyways, regardless, after I do that, I take a little sponge, a little sponge. Look how big this guy is. I, I did, on my one of my last videos, I told you I was going to show you this sponge. It's by Real Techniques. It's a newer one. Look at this mango. Que mango. This is huge. It's kind of ridiculous, but I mean, it's awesome when you're just like, Ugh, quickly, do it. So anyways, I don't have my smaller ones. I don't know where they're at. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend this for under the eyes, but this is what we have so far. So after you do that, you just lightly tap it in. This obviously helps to pick up some of the product because you don't want it to be cakey since you're gonna go in with a second layer of concealer. So my favorite, I love these so much, are the LA 
what are they? LA Girl. LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition. I just bought a bunch of them on Ulta because they're buy one get one half off and I actually use these in my freelance kit as well. They remind me of the, oh my gosh, what are they called? They're by MAC, those little twisty ones that go under it. They're beautiful. Those are beautiful, but these are like five bucks and then you go on Ulta and you buy one get one free. Like, you can't beat that. So, anyways, I am using the color Natural and it is lighter. And it comes in like the squeezy tube. You just squeeze it. And remember, a little bit goes a long way. So then you tap it. Then you go in with this brush again. And you lightly tap. You kind of just spread the product around. Then you go in with your uh, sponge. And it blends out incredibly. I don't like to bring it down really low because I have really big pores right here. And it just, for me, I can't do foundation and then concealer and blah, blah, blah. So I'd rather, I usually just go up pretty high up with the foundation. And then I just conceal literally, literally like right there. I don't think that's too far down, but whatever. I'm telling you guys, this concealer, like, I feel like now that I'm looking at it in the camera, it's probably like, dang, she's got a lot of product on. But I'm telling you, like, this stuff is incredible. It's so lightweight, but it has really good coverage. Blends out so nicely. And then I like to go over the eyes as well with it. Now, once that's done, let me come in a little closer. Can you see? It looks a lot better. I mean, it's not perfect, you know, but um, it looks a lot better and I don't have like 10 pounds of concealer on. It's very lightweight. So now I'm gonna powder. You have to powder almost immediately. My favorite powder is Airspun. It's like 10 bucks from Walmart. I've tried Laura Mercier, that's what everyone loves. I didn't like it, didn't work on me, and you know what, I returned it. Ugh. So I get a brush, and then I just tap. I cannot do the sponge trick anymore with the powder because then it becomes very cakey, and it's just not a cute look. Like I said, when you get older, and you have the, the textured skin, you cannot do the same steps that, you know, all these younger girls are doing. Not even young, it's just dry skin. I wouldn't say I have the driest skin in the world, it's just when you have older skin. It kind of looks really dry, but I don't know if I'm making sense. I hope I'm connecting with some of you women out there that are, like, understanding what I'm talking about. So... There you go, that is how I do it. Is this a lot of steps? Yeah, it is. I guess if you're not really big into doing your makeup, but if you're wanting to learn how to do this, mind you, what I do sometimes is I won't wear foundation. I'll throw on some eyebrows, conceal my under eyes. Sometimes I'll throw on a pair of lashes because I'm quick at it, you know? Once you practice, you'll know how to do that. Or throw on mascara and some lips. Like it really, this is important to me right here, is the under eyes. Do you wanna look awake? You wanna look bright eyed? Ah! Pretty much all good to go. Uh, sometimes you can use a um, finishing powder. For me, that I can't do that. That's too much. That's too many steps. So now I just take a different brush and I'm kind of very lightly wiping away some of that excess powder. So this is it. I hope you guys um, learned a little something. Let me know if you try this trick. Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys or maybe tell me what you guys use for your... Uh, under eyes if you have dark circles all right guys that is it thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and we will see you next week all right take care